what to do if I know that I am going to miss my salah because of coaching? What with the Asan Asi, maybe he's going to a coaching classes or whatever coaching, whether it be studies or whether it be driving coaching, whatever it is. What should he do if he knows he's going to miss a salah for coaching classes? If you know you're going to miss your salah for coaching classes, you have to see to it that you don't miss your salah. Missing salah is haram in Islam. If you miss it knowingly, it is haram. Once in a blue moon, if you cannot get up for the Fajr Salah because your alarm did not wake you up, etc. Once in a blue moon, once a month, once in two months, Allah will forgive you. But willingly, when consciously and deliberately, if you miss your Salah, for any reason, unless it's a question of life and death, or you're in a battlefield, or your house is on fire, there are certain exceptions. But for coaching classes, in no way can you miss your salah. Missing salah is missing any of the fard salah is the fourth major sin. According to Imam Dhabi, the fourth major sin in Islam after shirk, next is murder, third is black magic, fourth is salah. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's a Sahih Hadith of Sahih Muslim, that the difference between Iman and Kufr is salah. The first thing Allah will ask you on the day of judgment amongst all your deeds is your salah. So missing far salah is not only haram, it's a major haram. It's a major sin. You cannot miss. What you can do? You can change the timing of your coaching classes. You can either pray before the time of salah. Sorry, you can have the coaching classes before the time of salah. or have the coaching classes after, no problem. But in no way can you miss. And it is preferable or for the gents, they should pray in the mosque. Once in a blue moon, if you have your examination and you cannot pray in the mosque and you pray in the room in your college and all, it's accepted. Or pray with the jamaat in the next room with your Muslim friend, no problem. But generally, praying five times in the mosque in jama is a fard for the man. Unless he has a valid reason that he's sick or he's traveling. Otherwise, according to Imam Abhabi, he mentioned in his book, The Major Sin, it is the 65th major sin for not offering salah in the mosque in congregation without a valid reason. So regarding a question, can you miss your salah for coaching? What, do you, what will you do if you come to know you're going to miss your salah? You change your program. Change your classes. You join some other classes or tell the classroom that I will leave. I will take a break, a few minutes, go to the mosque, come back and pray. It's permissible. But if it doesn't allow, you change the coaching class. You don't have to do that. And you said, you are from Bangladesh. If you are staying in a Muslim majority country, so but natural, you can put pressure that how can you continue the coaching in the Salah time? The problem is if the citizen don't put pressure, you will have such things happening in a Muslim majority country. You can always put your foot down. That I am a Muslim. I want to see to it that there is a break for Salah. Because there is a fart for every Muslim to offer five times Salah. If you don't put pressure, you will find those Muslims who are far away from the deen, who have deviated from the deen, they will take you for a ride. So in no way can you miss your Salah. For reason, unless it's a question of life and death and certain things I said to you, but in no way for coaching classes or for studies can you miss your salah. Hope that answers the question.